two of Hollywood's most highly acclaimed actors have died. From the stage to the screen, Jack Klugman and Charles Durning did it all in careers that span decades. As Crystal Gomansing tells us, they'll be remembered in history not only for their roles, but their contributions outside of the arts. Look at this, Felix. Look at this brochure. What do you see? Mayonnaise. He may have been the slob in the odd couple, but Jack Klugman will also be remembered as a treasured Hollywood icon. He won two of his three Emmys for his role as Oscar Madison, but his career was much bigger than that one lovable character. The 90-year-old had a passion for acting and kept with it, even after his voice was ravaged by throat cancer. Klugman spent more than 60 years delighting fans of the stage, big screen and TV. For him, it was a second career. After graduating in 1948, he served in the U.S. Army during the Second World War. On the 24th, Hollywood lost another icon. Charles Durning. Just like Klugman, he too lived a full and interesting life. Durning starred in the 1982 classic, The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas. Ooh, I love to dance a little side step. Durning played a hilariously corrupt governor alongside Dolly Parton. He played a lot of officials over the years, but wasn't pigeonholed during his 50 years in Hollywood. Durning was the voice of Peter, Peter Griffin's dad on Family system. Guy. Peter. You must go to the Dagobah system. He also played Santa in five different made-for-TV movies. His wide range may have something to do with his real life. He was a boxer, a dance instructor, and a soldier. He was among the first group of Americans to land on Normandy. He was also a POW survivor. I was the second man off my barge. And the first and third man got killed. He shared his experiences during a PBS special in 2007. Charles Durning and Jack Klugman, two old school Hollywood gentlemen, remembered for their lives on and off the screen. Crystal Gamancing, Global News.